Welcome to another episode of No Money, No Excuse. The concept is simple. We take free tools, themes, plugins, and services, and we use those to build amazing websites. In this episode, we're going to be exploring the free Brizzy cloud service, where you can leverage the power and simplicity of the Brizzy page builder to not only create great looking websites, but to also potentially host them in various different ways for no cost at all. Now, let's kick things off by logging into my free Brizzy cloud account and getting started. So first things first, you're going to need to sign up for Brizzy Cloud. I've already gone ahead and done that. And like I say, this is the free version. So no costs involved whatsoever. Now, once you've signed up and logged in, you're going to be presented with your Brizzy Cloud dashboard. This is going to show you all of your projects, including your websites and your pop-ups. So from here, we can go through, create new projects, edit projects, and a whole host of other things. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a first project. Now, this is not a tutorial on how to use Brizzy or how to use Brizzy Cloud. It's been already been covered in the previous video that I did covering this. This is more a case of why it's worthwhile signing up for that free account for all the added benefits you get from that free account. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new project. What we're going to do is we're going to create a web website and landing page. I'm going to click on that. And from there, we're just going to name this. So we're going to just change this over to WP Tuts Project. This is going to be a simple landing page type project. So what we're going to do is we're going to click to edit the project to open up the Brizzy Builder inside Cloud. And from there, we're just going to pull in one of the predefined templates just to show the whole process. So I'll click to start adding and we're going to come through to Layouts. Now, we are going to be restricted in this point because we can only have access to the free ones, but that's perfectly fine because they're a great starting point anyway. So we click on free and from there, we'll choose the free option we're going to use, which will take this unicorn. So we're going to click on that and we'll say import this layout. We'll let that then do everything. If I want to make changes to this, I can go ahead and make changes to make it truly unique to what I want. Okay, so we'll say we're going to publish that. And we are done. We've created our website. And if we want to preview that, we can click on the preview and we can jump over to the new tab and we can see exactly what that's going to look like once it loads in. So there's our landing page all created and we'll say we've gone through and edited it the way we want. So now we've come and done this. The next thing we're going to do is jump back to our dashboard and we're going to take a look at the different publishing options we have available inside the free account. So let's head back to our dashboard. I'm going to click on the bottom menu and say go to dashboard. So we're now back into our dashboard. From here, we can choose what we want to do. And you can see we can edit our project and all those kinds of things. But what we're interested in is this option for publish. We click on there, we're given four different options. And you'll notice that every single one of these is absolutely free. So you don't even need to purchase hosting if you want to use this service, which is incredible value for money. Now, obviously, the paid service is going to give you more, more templates, more features, and so on. However, if you just want to use this for clients that are paying a small amount of money, some landing pages you want to work with, you have all those options there. So we've got securely hosted by us on the left-hand side and self-hosted on the right-hand side. We'll take a quick look at these options for securely hosted by Brizzy themselves. And we'll take a little bit more detail then for the self-hosted options by you. So what we can do is we can choose a custom domain or a subdomain. Now, to use a custom domain, you're going to need to have your own URL, your own, your own domain. You have to have purchased that. If we click on choose, you can see what's the domain name you want to use. Now I've already gone ahead, purchased domains, and I put one of my currently purchased domains into the publish on your domain option. We'll hit submit, and then that's going to go through and it's going to tell you some information about it. You can see it says the Lightroom Academy is not connected to this at the moment. So you can see it's telling us we need to do a few things. Now I'm not going to go through and show you how to do this. This is a case of if you're unsure, there's tons and tons of content on how to do this. But basically what you need to do is change some DNS settings, which you should be able to do directly inside the registrar for your host, for your domain purchase. For example, 123reg, GoDaddy, Namecheap, those kinds of things. You need to put in the details that you're being supplied at this point. Then you're going to need to give it up to 48 hours for these to actually propagate. Then you can come back in and follow along with this, refresh it. Once that's completed, then you're going to see this domain becomes part of your account, and then you can have your domain linked through to this web design, and you can use Brizzy to manage it. So that's the first option, which, like I say, totally free. Let's take a look at the next option. Let's come into publish this. 
we have the option for subdomain. If we choose that, this is going to give us a subdomain on the brizzy.site domain. So we could just change this to something like WP Tuts, and we put test in there so you can see, we'll say submit. Then that's going to go through, it's going to create that subdomain for us on the brizzy.site domain. So we now have our own dedicated subdomain for this specific project. So those two options are Brilliant. Like I say, if you want to create something that's just a demo site, you could just use one of the subdomains. If you wanted to create a site, you could use the dedicate domain and just purchase the domain you want, point that over to the Brizzy Cloud server, and you are pretty much done. However, let's just say you've got your own hosting and you want to stay there. What other options do we have? Well, we have this server sync option, which to me is probably the most exciting option we already have. And that's all we'll be concentrating on probably in most depth in this particular video. However, we've already seen the export to HTML option, and I'll show you that again, just in case you didn't see the previous video. What this does is it effectively just downloads a zip file with all the key files for this particular site in it, whether that's a single page or a multi-page site, then you can upload that to your own host, unzip it all, and you've got a HTML version of your site they're all set up. So let's take a look at that first, then we'll come back to the server sync, because that's the one that's going to take a little bit more time to explain and show you the benefits of. So with this HTML export, we'll click on that option. That's now going to prepare the files, zip everything up. And then once that's finished, that's going to give us the ability to download that file, at which point we can upload that to our own hosting account. And there we go. After a short wait, we're told exactly what to do. And we've got our new zip file downloaded ready. So we downloaded it. Next thing we need to do is upload this via a file manager or FTP. So let's just open this zip up and take a look. Two different things in here. We've got the index HTML and we've got the asset folder. Now, obviously, if you had a bigger site, you'd have more files than just the index HTML. And inside the assets folder, we've got all the relevant different files, the JavaScript, the CSS, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So let's just upload those files and folders up to our hosting account. Now I'm using SiteGround for this example, and if you'd like to check those out, there's a link in the description below. Here's an affiliate link, and if you purchase through it, I do get a small kickback, but this is a service that I actually use myself for my own personal and business sites. Anyway, with that out of the way, we've got the public HTML folder in this subdirectory, which is where we're going to test things out. So I'm going to open up the public HTML folder, and this is just the root folder for your site. So whatever you upload, whether it's WordPress or Joomla or anything like that, it's always going to go inside the public underscore HTML folder. As you can see, we've got a file called default.html, which we can't get rid of. We don't need that. So we'll just delete that and I'll say, yes, we'll get rid of that. And then what we can do is we can upload the file and folder that we had. So we're going to drop those into our structure and let those upload. Okay, so we'll let those files and folder upload. Once that's completed, we can then test the site out to make sure everything works the way it should do. Okay, then here we are. Everything is set up exactly as it was on our test site, but now it's on our own dedicated domain. The problem with this is though, it's basically a one-way trip. In other words, if we go back into Brizzy Cloud, if we make any changes to this project, we basically have to re-download it, re-upload it, and that can be a bit time consuming. Now it's perfectly fine if you have a site that you pretty much never need to touch, or maybe once in a while the client comes along and says, can you change this or the other? that's fine. However, when you want to have something you can quickly and easily push straight over to your site, this is where the other option comes in. So if we choose the option to publish, and we come to the server sync option, it's slightly different. And that's what I think is really cool about Brizzy Cloud. And the fact this is all free, it's a bit of a mind blower. So this time, let's do the server sync option. Let's just download that. And you can see it's going to do the same thing again, it's downloaded it for us. So what we're going to do is we'll open this up, and we'll take a look at what's going on inside here. So if we drag it over, you can see we've got a folder called Brizzy. If we open that up, there's a lot more files and folders in here now because we're basically creating an app link between the Brizzy Cloud platform and our self-hosted website. So how do we go about setting this up? Let's take a look at that now. First thing we want to do is come back over into our file manager and let's get rid of what we currently have in here. So let's just delete those so we've got nothing inside our server setup. We come back to our test page, refresh this, you'll find we just basically got a 403 forbidden because there's nothing on there. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is get all the files and get everything set up on our hosting account from that new Brizzy download. So what I've done is I've unzipped that folder 
and we're going to just take all the files that were inside that Brizzy folder and put those up onto the server. So let's just drag and drop those in there. We'll let those 416 files upload and then we can jump into our browser window and start the process of linking these two things together. Okay, so now that all our files are uploaded, let's just jump back over to our test page, refresh this, and we should then be able to start the process. So synchronizing in process, it can take some time. So we'll let that go ahead, do what it needs to do, and then we'll come back and take a look at what we've got to do to make sure everything is working perfectly. Okay, and here we are. Refresh the site. This is now linked through to our Brizzy Cloud account. And as you can see, it looks exactly the same as it does on the Brizzy page where we're working inside the cloud. Looks the same as the statically built site, but we have that link between the cloud version of Brizzy and our live site. So now we can make changes inside Brizzy Cloud and they will then be reflected. We can push them over to this site. So that's pretty cool. Let's take a look at that now. So I've gone back over into the cloud dashboard for my account. Let's open up our project and edit that. And we can edit anything we want now. So we've got the Brizzy editor. So let's just do something really, really simple. Let's just change this data to a different color. We'll go for just a blue color. Just so it stands off, we can see the changes we made. Let's just change that. My bad. So there we go. Okay, so we've made a change to it now. Now when we hit update at this point, this will now send this through to our site on our own server because we've got that link between the two. Now it can take a minute or two to transfer over. It's not something that's going to be instantaneous, but you can check all your updates, make all the changes you want inside the Brizzy cloud, get everything set up, then update it and push it over to the live site when you're ready. So this is just super cool and really, really simple to do. So we've updated that. Let's just hop over to our test site now and we'll refresh the page and take a look to see if those changes have taken effect. And there we go, over on our test site, you can see now the data is now blue. So using Brizzy Cloud, you really have no excuse for not only creating stunning looking websites, but also for potentially hosting them for no money or for using the flexibility of the dynamic sync options to push your updates to your own preferred hosting provider. Now, from a business point of view, you have an amazing tool at your disposal that you can easily leverage to build websites for clients without spending a load of money on design tools, hosting, and you also get really super easy updates. Now, best of all, your sites are potentially going to be super lightweight and fast loading too. Now, as always, all of the applicable links for everything I've covered in this video are in the description below, so you can check those out. My name is Paul C. This has been WP Tats, and until next time, take care.